Hello and welcome to a brief demonstration of the Sligo Lockbox product. As you know in NetSuite you've got invoices that are generated on behalf of your customers. You can go ahead and send those invoices out to your customer. Sometimes a customer may decide to pay for that invoice via check. You can go ahead and set up a lockbox relationship with the bank, have the bank receive those checks on your behalf and process them for you. The bank will then output a, it's called a lockbox file, uh, generally a fixed width not so human readable format. I'll show you an example in a little bit. And you have a choice then with this legal lockbox product. You can either have this legal lockbox automatically grab that file from the bank for you, or you can manually grab it and upload it into the NetSuite file cabinet. Once the legal lockbox receives a file and processes it, it goes ahead and generates payment records in NetSuite. Those payment records are then matched up directly with the invoices that they represent. And that closes out the work for this workflow. We do realize that that's an ideal situation. And sometimes there are invoices that don't match up and customers that don't match up. And I'll show you how those use cases are handled as we show you a demonstration of the product. But first, I want to show you a little bit more detailed uh, workflow for the pattern matching I was describing as the invoices are matched up from the lockbox file to the invoices in NetSuite. All right, there's three main use cases. Uh, as I said, when they're all matched, um, that's this one here. And sometimes the invoices are matched some of them, but not all of them. And other times, uh, none of the invoices are matched. And in a worst case situation, we can't match even to the customer. We'll go ahead and create a dummy customer and map that as a deposit against that customer and mark the lockbox transaction as unidentified. But in the case of, of the uh, match scenarios, the statuses are as follows. When all are matched, we set the lockbox transaction to be applied. When some invoices are matched, we mark it as partially applied, and when none of them are matched, we mark as unapplied. So let me walk you through those statuses in the NetSuite application. Here I've got a portlet of the latest lockbox batch, and you'll see those statuses are right here, the applied status, partially applied, unapplied, and unidentified. And now I'm going to take you over to the lockbox batch summary file itself with the same records below for that batch. Uh, but what I'm going to show you here is the file that I was talking about. So here's an example of that lockbox file. Typically fixed width, no delimiters, not so human readable. But luckily the Sligo lockbox product is designed to process this data for you on your, your behalf. So that said, let's drill into these different use cases and show you how these statuses play out. So for Paul's organic pet food, we'll see that there was a payment placed in the uh, system for $5,500. And the invoices that correspond to that are down here. There's 3,000 and 2,500. Those match up nicely. And so when we drill into the payment, we'll see that the full amount of the payment was applied and nothing is left in the unapplied. So that takes care of that. And that's the ideal situation. Uh, coming back to Housewares Incorporated, if we look at that, we'll see a $4,000 payment was made. And the invoices that correspond to that are as follows. We see there's a $1,500 invoice that we can match against, but we're missing the remainder. So we go ahead and mark that as partially applied. And we'll go in and look at the payment, and we'll see that the unapplied amount is $2,500, the remainder of that $4,000. Likewise, we'll look at an unapplied situation for the United Auto Parts. In this case, we're not able to match anything. So $4,300 comes in from United Auto Parts. We look at the invoices, we notice that there's nothing to match against. So we're going to go ahead and mark that as unapplied and generate a payment in the system that then has it all under unapplied. And so we'll have to come in and apply that as the invoices are corrected. And lastly, we've got the unidentified situation that I mentioned. We'll go ahead and generate a customer payment as a deposit. So in this case, $10,000 comes in. We're not sure how to match it for Smith Hardware. So we'll go ahead and create a customer deposit. Uh, underneath the lockbox unidentified and someone will have to come in again and clean it up. So that said, that uh, concludes the quick demo of the Sligo lockbox product and appreciate your time and uh, we look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you.